land of Potashan County has embedded in it the sap of myth, of written stories as only history knows how to do it. The first who mentioned the name Botashani is Grigory Oreke in his Chronicle of Moldavia in 1459. But life must have flourished here long before that. It couldn't be otherwise, as Botoshani was placed at important crossroads, linking the main princely residences of Moldavia. In order to find the image of the past, a visit to the county museum is a must. The collections are displayed in the former administrative palace built between 1906 and 1914, according to the plans of the architect Peter Antonescu. The visitor here has the chance of a time travel, from prehistory to the contemporary era, passing by Paleolithic and Neolithic vestiges. The main historical moments are being presented in the exhibits of the 17 exhibition rooms. The museum tells the story of these places through its exhibits. Theatre goers found here a favourable place to manifest this passion even before the First World War. Mihai Minescu Theatre Company is first class, having won many distinctions and participating in international festivals at Avignon, Trabzon or Cairo. From Botoshani, the road takes you almost certainly to the village of Ipotesht, the place where Hyperion rose. We are in a real Weimar of Romania, a true place for pilgrimage. The National Study Center Mihai Eminescu was founded in 1992 and suggests in a modern space a contemporary vision on the great poet's life and work. It is a real complex, a unique place in the Romanian cultural universe. What we see today is a building dating from 1979 that observes the original plans and preserving the foundation of the old house. The memorial house renders faithfully, even today, the paradise of his childhood, the lost Eden, eternally mourned and regretted. Poetry floats into the air and the objects themselves convey metaphors. Nearby, we can see the graves of the members of the family. And their sleep is echoed here by the praise of stone that the church was made of. And that erected at Nikolai Yoga's suggestion. Round this space, time has stopped, as if fastened by an invisible border of eternity. The hours here taste like melancholy. The lake quivers and thrills, its wave breathe the poem they once inspired to the poet.
If Eminescu bestowed words on us, George Enescu caressed us with his music. The great composer took, while a child, his first violin lesson from the fiddler Laie Kuru in the memorial house in Levan village. And also, he made himself his first violin here. It was here that he composed his first work for piano and violin when he was only five. We find in Dorohoi the Memorial Museum George Enesco, which is arranged in the house that belonged to the musician's father. And here, the music of the individual soul, united with that of the collective one, drawing its spirit, energy and the power of music. He composed here the String Quartet, Opus 30, and the Third Symphony. Giorgi Enescu knew how to add to the world music the flavor and freshness of Moldavian rhythms. He succeeded thus in placing Romania on the universal map of symphony music. The Philharmonic House was set up in 1953 piecing together an already remarkable tradition existing here. Every year this Philharmonic is among those organizing a series of homage manifestations dedicated to the great musician. Nikolai Yorga himself came to write history. The memorial house was fit up in one of the houses where the historian spent his childhood. Georgi Kalinescu said that Nikolai Yorga played for the Romanian culture the part of a Voltaire. And as education is of paramount importance in the life of any culture and society, the local inhabitants knew how to set it off. And what can be more pleasant than to learn playing? The children's theatre Vasilake carries out the pleasant and useful task of filling the young ones' lives with colourful stories. Teaching institutions have always preoccupied the leaders of the county, a field with a rich tradition, starting in 1832 when the first public primary school for boys was set up. Today, in Botoshan city, there are schools such as Laurian Secondary School, of high standard at national level, and the art school, Stefan Lukian, which is the ideal place for perceiving the mysteries of this noble profession, of practicing the magic which color and plastic expression exerts on human eyes. The County Library Mihai Eminescu is an architectural jewel, happily blending elements of French and German architecture. Book lovers, reading addicts, all those attracted by the knowledge light, will find here a precious source of learning in the 500,000 volumes. We also find here an exceptional collection, the Documentary Fund Eminescu, with a series of complete editions of the poet's work. The space assigned to learning activities is, due to the local authorities, generous and equipped with modern facilities.
The old center is the heart of the settlement, where life is thrilling, where the infusion of charm starts and offers personality and uniqueness to the place. Not far away from this historical center, we find a church called the St. Voivods. It was built between 1850 and 1862, a Voivod Manoil Vasiliev's initiative. The Byzantine influence is obvious. This church is unique, an example in which art has understood to serve religion, and beauty joined the truth and spiritual peace. Another praying dwelling is Uspenia Church, known also as the White Church, founded by Lady Elena Rarish, dating from 1552. Mihai Eminescu was Christian here, one more reason to change the church into a site of perpetual pilgrimage. This cathedral of Botoshane was repainted by Master Petre Architenie, the only Romanian that was awarded twice with the distinction the UNESCO Man of the Year. Painting is like a letter you write with decorative patterns and polishing, a love letter to God, said Master Architenie. The roads of Botoshani County resounded with prayers and piousness. Quite often, people chose to submit in front of the holy things, and so we can explain the great number of religious dwellings. Voronas Hermitage shelters St. Onufrius relics, the hermit that came from Russia and accomplished more wonders after being canonized. Even nowadays, prayers rise from people's hearts to the great saint, looking for answers, help, or simply peace of mind. Agriculture is deeply rooted in this county. Agrarian rituals appeared here in times immemorial and naturally interwound with people's lives, feeding their bodies and souls. The land of this county is soft. Its flow is as gentle as that of time. A special heart animates the earth, the herbs and animals. All of them breathe an air of content and of welfare overflowing every corner. Once joining the EU and having a rich tradition in agriculture, the inhabitants of this country understood they had a potential which shouldn't be wasted. This noble tradition has already adopted modernity in its practice. Land and technical innovation, two complementary elements, have optimum results. The infrastructure needed for a solid development was a permanent preoccupation for the people of these places. Industry also benefits from the discoveries of the modern world. The variety of branches represented in this county speaks for itself. Ready-made clothes produced here observe the highest quality standards, 
and can cope with a sharp competition in the field. At the same time, natural resources are wisely and responsively administered. At the same time, natural resources are wisely and responsively administered. The Stinga Kostest Dam of about 3 kilometers in length created a lake of 7,700 hectares where even the sun sets more spectacularly than elsewhere. Dorohoi town is a modern town today, which has become famous for the glass industry. Bringing to life sand has been promoted to the rank of art. The created objects are not only functional, but also beautiful and delicate. Dorohoi town was documentary attested in 1407, before the feudal state of Moldavia was created. Time leaves traces on human lives. Whatever remains after molding becomes tradition. This region knows how to preserve and esteem it. The masks, typical to this rural area, are significant for their symbolism. Each is unique and nothing is at random when creating them. Another old craft, but still alive, is weaving. For these beautiful carpets, they use only colors obtained from plants. Tradition has not been perverted here, and people know that the easy way brings no satisfaction. Pottery continues the dialogue between the human hands and the clay. By the potter's wheel and its movement, old myths and beliefs are being reaffirmed. By the potter's wheel, the miracle of life is resumed every day. The pots are made with a high aesthetical sense, the natives being consumers and creators of beauty.
the different types of ceramics start their journey all over the world from here, carrying with them a grain of the spirit that animates these places. Set up some 40 years ago, the Baltoshani Bards Orchestra carries out its activity under the leadership of the tireless master Iwan Kobala. This band has taken the Moldavian popular song and the romance to the highest artistic standards. The natives of Botoshani can be very hospitable with guests. The delicacies of culinary art are abundant all over the county, but the weather roast is the sole creation of this region. Get ready for a feast, for a delight of all senses, for an explosion of joy for the gustatory papili. Corona is the matrix of the traditional soul, being the representative folk area of the county. The melody binds together generations like a yarn that continues to unreal from the golden ball of time. Today's children whistlers carry on the story started by the men's choral group, Stephen the Great Archers. The popular song remained unaltered in the whole rural environment of Botoshan. Lost somewhere in Verona Forest, the monastery bearing the same name lives its life, breathing spirituality. The beauty of the place subdues the heavy hearts of those stepping over its threshold. Agafton Monastery is telling, in the silent and pious step of the nuns, the same stories of faith and perenniality. The name Agafton derives from a hermit living some time ago in these woods. Mihai Eminescu, the poet, walked over here too. It seems that here he recorded the fairy tale Colin, that constituted the basis of a famous poem with the same name. That's the way Botoshan is, a realm inspired by poetry, by myth transposed in music and words.
Interest in science is also a preoccupation of this county. The Natural Science Museum in Dorohoi is set in a building dating from the, the end of the 19th century. It is an attraction point that can offer information to all ages. Another treasure of the county, with a powerful touristy potential, is the presence in the region of a special fauna. Otoshan County can boast itself with a large number of natural, unaltered ecosystems and a remarkable biodiversity. It has a real chance of becoming rapidly the favorite destination of tourists hooked on to hunting, a noble and very old activity. The advantage here is that the game is native, not mixed, having a really wild behavior, increasing thus the pleasure of waiting and chasing. Local inhabitants understood the importance of the rich fauna of these places and their continual efforts of protecting and caring for the game bore fruit. Angling can also be practiced in very good conditions. It developed over more ponds, the main trend being systematic pisciculture. In fact, angling has an old tradition in this part of the country. For nature lovers, a walk through the natural reservation Tudora Forest can be a unique occasion of delight and of being yourself again. shake hands above the people. But the greatest wealth of Botoshani is its humanity. The humans gave life to the stone, enlivened words, fought the universe and its mysteries. <laughs> <laughs>